Hiya. Um, this is for Rebecca on Facebook. She posted um, a question asking people what a stitch was. So the stitch was uh, this. So this is my interpretation. I might be wrong, but this is my idea of what this could be. So there's been lots of things, people saying, oh, it's a, a treble with um, a puff stitch on top and then a single crochet. One round of treble, one round of puff stitch, one round of single. But unfortunately, the pattern does not have any rows in between. It, this is literally all done in one go because between between each one of these stitches, it, it's just a chain five, I think, from what I recall. I haven't got it in front of me now. But um, there's, there is nothing between these so this is all done in one go so i've been having a play around um i'm actually using dmc petra five thread count three or five i don't know uh five i think this is not really thread crochet so um thread crochet does tend to look completely different done in thread than normal the normal crochet yarn or normal yarn but i think this is pretty close so um, I'll tell you what I did and it might be that I've almost got it right and someone can, you know, point this in the right direction. But anyway, this is my best effort at reading this stitch that I've also never seen before. I think it's a complicated Y stitch, uh, you know, like a really fancy Y stitch. I think the whole thing is done in one go. You make a really long stitch to start with, then halfway up the post or, you know, where a point where a treble is, you, you make the puff stitch and then you make the single crochet last of all. So this is how I think it's it's done. Uh, I'm going to do a chain five first, which is just the space, just this chain five here between each one of these super posh, elaborate Y stitches. One, two, three, four, I don't know if that's five, I'm not really bothered. So the way I'm interpreting this is um, I'm counting the yarn over. So these lines usually represent yarn over. So we've got one yarn over, two yarn over, three yarn over, four yarn overs. Two, three, four. And then we're going into the top of the stitch and we're basically going to um, make a really long um, what would that be? A, a double, a double treble, maybe. Let's just see. So uh, I'm pulling up a loop and try not to lose control of of all your yarn overs. And obviously, with thread crochet, it's always really important to try and um, crochet true to hook size. So the yarn should be more or less exactly the same size as a hook, so you're not getting sloppy stitches. So I've now got two, four, six yarn overs on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and draw off two, yarn over, draw off two, yarn over, draw off two, yarn over, draw off two. And then I'm going to leave these last two on the hook. Okay, so what I've done in essence here is I've done this really long bit here all in one go, okay? Now I need to make this part of the stitch. So, that should be roughly, if you're doing a normal Y stitch, so a normal Y stitch is like that, you're normally crocheting this second bit into the first set of, of two strands that you get as you make a double. So here, for example, if I was doing a Y stitch here, I'd go through those two strands there. Um, but because this is a treble, it's showing two lines and then the puff stitch, I think it's one two it's, it's going into the we're making a double crochet partial double crochet into the second set of these legs so I've yarned over going in pulling up a loop yarn over draw off two but then I'm not finishing off that particular double because I'm going to I've made this one now I'm going to make the the third one so yarn over into exactly the same part of that very long post that I made put up a loop Yarn over, draw off two. So now I've got three partial doubles. And now I'm going to finish yarn over and I'm going to finish everything off all in one go. Okay? So I've made, basically made this bit here now. But then there's this, the, the single crochet element. So I believe that is made by um, reversing, uh, you're, you're making that behind 
what you've just made so to the right so you're, you're rotating your hook round to the right you're going between these two that you've already made and underneath the chain you're going to come up you're going to pull up a loop then you're going to yarn over and draw off the two so that's that's your single in the top of um, that very convoluted wire stitch but it's really pretty actually it's just it's kind of like a like a spear isn't it so obviously I think this would look quite a bit different if you were using uh, proper thread crochet not this uh, thicker thread anyway what do you think do you think or maybe someone that's you know much more experienced in thread crochet than me would know whether what I've just done is that or whether it's completely wrong almost there or don't know what do you think?